welding with a 100 amp AC stick welder with variable amperage adjustment and cooling fan part 1 now I'm going to use uh, 60 13 welding rods on maximum amperage and uh, uh, 2.5 mil or um, uh, 3 30 seconds okay and uh, I'm going to burn down a few rods and uh, get used to the feel and see what it's like don't use the uh, the accessories that come with them you need an auto darkening mask so get one of those as well if you're going to get one of these welders and uh, you know use good rods now you're going to use 6013 general purpose welding rods because there's no point in using any other welding rods and don't use rods without any designated uh, um, uh, numbers on them Okay, don't you? Because like, you'll forever be trying to, uh, you know, you want a rod that's going to give you consistent burn, so that your your technique will uh, will uh, won't have to change all the time. And um, so uh, that's basically it. Was, was there something else on it? Uh, let me think. Anything else to do with the welder now before we start burning down rods? Something else I wanted to say. Make sure that you have the. Uh, make sure you, when you're burning down these rods, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Either do it outside, or uh, make sure you have an extractor, because uh, you know the fumes will just pile up around you, and you'll never get a. You'll be running in and out of place, and you'll never get anything. Nothing will stick. So um, literally, so uh, make sure that you have a well ventilated area so that you're comfortable and you can get used to the the burn down of the rod and the technique and, 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 and get an idea on it. Another thing, we're going to burn the rod from start to finish. So um, if you can see here, right, I have a piece of steel here, right, I'm going to burn the rod from start to finish, okay, so that don't, don't do little short runs of an inch, do a complete long run on it uh, to get used to the burn, right, and uh, Let's see how it goes. Now we'll just switch on that extractor. On this first attempt at um, drawing a bead, um, it's already apparent that the these welders won't hold a very long arc, so you must keep the rod in tight to the workpiece. I'm just pulling it along at the moment. I'm not uh, doing anything at all with it. Fancy just keeping it in tight to it and see if I can keep it lit, and um, just see what the uh, what the um, end result will be and build on that. Yeah. On this second attempt, I'm pulling the rod forward and feeding it back in to the puddle. Just easing it forward about an eighth of an inch and feeding it back into the puddle. And uh, I'm also changing the angle of the rod slightly, lifting it up to the ver closer to the vertical and I'm pulling it back down again in order to uh, get some idea whether where uh, it feels the most comfortable at and uh, this seems to be um, you know it seems to be working out much better this time and I can see that uh, I'm going to build on this I won't be um, uh, this is the way to go so I'm just drawing the puddle forward slightly and then feeding the rod back into it to spread the puddle out and um, as I lift the rod slightly up on towards the vertical uh, you tend to get a, a, a deeper bone into it a much uh, much deeper bone, so uh, getting a feel for it now on this second run.
Marta. Okay. Now just, all I'm going to do now is burn another couple of rods on that. Flip it over and burn a few more here. Get a feel for it so that you know where you're going with. There's just something I want to say here now. And that is that um, I find that uh, I begin to find already that the best technique on it is to pull it forward a sliper and then just bring it back in. You have to keep a very short arc on it, you can't pull it out at all. So you keep it as close to the actual uh, base metal as you can. You'll almost feel it touching there and just pull it forward and then ease it back in to fatten the beard. And uh, that seems to be the best technique, it seems to be consistent that way. I'm saying that there's not much, uh, it's, it's, it's flattering on a, flat, on a flat piece of steel like this. We'll see what happens when we start sticking it together. But this is where to practice, burn down a dozen rods like this. Okay, so play around with whatever technique you want to use as regards, uh, um, uh, I like pushing the, the rod slightly back, pulling the, pulling the pull forward and, and pulling the rod forward and pushing slightly back into it. And uh, um, also straightening up the rods, you get a much hotter bone when it's straightening up the rod and uh, it's, uh, you know, you get used to it, like, you know what I mean? And it does, there's no doubt about it, you know, it, it, it pours out the old bead there pretty okay, you know, there's nothing really wrong with it. So, uh, that's the end of this video anyway, and on the next video I'm going to start uh, sticking bits of metal together, you know. And uh, at one stage I've burned through this box iron here, which is about a uh, uh, quarter of an inch, or about, sorry, about an eighth of an inch thick. And uh, it um, it just goes to show, like, you know what I mean, like, you can get a bit of heat up in these little welders, you know. I just, uh, see there now. Plenty of practice, practice makes perfect.